Hey guys, welcome back to Lawbreakers. Emphasis on the law and the breaking. Two sides to this fast paced FPS shooter and in my other video, you will have seen that I looked at half of the classes or maybe just over half, I can't remember. But we're gonna look at the remaining ones now. So let's jump in. All right, so it looks like we're playing Blitzball. And this is pretty awesome because Justin Voiland actually does the voice for the Blitzball itself. We're gonna play Juggernaut, probably my favorite class right now. He's a beast. Also, we're on the uh, Breakers side of things, which means we get some pretty sweet sass in our voice lines. The way the uh, Juggernaut works is you get a shift that uses up your fuel to run, and when you jump it uses up more fuel, and you can also tap it to slam down on the ground as well. Your Q armors you up, and uh, uses up fuel while it's up, as well as when you get hit, that drains fuel, and your E is a shield that goes down and stops all enemies and firepower from going through it. But you can see through it, so you can see enemies behind it. It's really useful in Blitzball, especially for blocking ball carriers from getting to the goal. Alright, so this is where the ball is. Let's jump in, slam down, and defend this place. Sliced and diced. I got the ball. Oh man. Armoring up, slamming down. Oh, damn it. Not quick enough on the wall. But a great move as a juggernaut ball carrier is to run to the enemy flag, plump down a shield, and all of your pursuers are left in the dust. So we're going to defend our flag point from there, dudes. So we have to get the ball to their base, they have to get it to ours, and if it drops in the middle, you can pick it up. But there's a shot clock in the middle, and when that runs out... Nice. When that runs out, the ball explodes as well, as, 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 along with whoever's carrying it. I was going for a cheeky stomp there. Oh, wow. Didn't even see him. Oh, nice blade run a croak there. Whoa, what the hell? <laughs> there are so many one-liners from this guy. Wait, am I still alive? Does anybody know what happened there? Because I don't. Oh, yeah, there's so many one-liners from this guy. It's amazing. Come here, you piece of trash. Suck it to the law. Let's get some health, folks. We're dangerously low. Ball's in play, but who's got it? They've got it. Need a breather. Okay. Looking good. There should be a health kit round about here. There we go. Once again, these... Um, these levels are very nicely detailed. They're very beautiful maps. I don't think so, pal. Damn it! They're gonna get the ball low and they're gonna cap. They're so close to our cap! Shut him down! Damn it! They got a score. They got a score. So it's the first to eight. So it's a fast-paced game and you can expect a lot of goals throughout the course of the game. Man, you really do feel like you're 10 tons of steel as a juggernaut. Okay, that's it. First score for the breakers. So again, each team has a mirror of the classes. So if, uh, if I have a Juggernaut, their team uh, has a Juggernaut just like the law. And they even look very similar, so you can uh, get used to the silhouettes. Nice, nice. I love the sass. I love the sass and the Juggernaut. Didn't see that coming there. That's daughter Goku. I guess that's Goku's daughter? Sure, I didn't even know he, uh, he had a daughter. Okay, let's get in there. It's two to one. Still everything to play for in 15 minutes on the time on the match timer. But this is definitely not a stomp. This is a pretty even game, and honestly, these are, these are so much fun. When it actually comes down to the line. Okay, it's time to mix things up. We've done enough juggernaut gameplay, and you can tell, oh my god, it's my favorite class. Doing so well with it. But let's switch over to the medic. Okay, now this is a this is a controversial class because you don't do anywhere near as much damage as the other the other heroes. You get a grenade launcher like this, and you can use your E to put out little drones that heal and shield your guys. It's on a cooldown. Your left click with a grenade launcher is a normal grenade. Right click is a grenade that bounces. Oh, this is good. And you get a pistol as well. There we go. Nice. First kill. A pistol that's pretty cool too. 
Now the medic's Q puts down a giant shield that stops enemy shots. I'm not sure if it lets your shots through, but my grenades definitely bounce off it. Let me show you how the shift works though. If you tap shift, you engage flight mode like this. When you go up with it, you drain a lot of fuel. That's a quick look at what the medic can do in his toolkit, because we're going to go straight for the wraith now. Oh, look at this. I've got an epic skin for this guy. Damn it. That's a score from the enemy. And the wraith is so strong. The right click with the wraith is just decimating. Oh, he got kicked in the face though. So the wraith's kit is pretty simple. The left click is this repeater pistol. It's really super good. The right click is a dash forwards with a knife and you can use shift to slide around. It's got a short cooldown. It's pretty cool. Now I'm not sure what his E does. Let's find out. Stinger blade that sticks into enemies or world detonates automatically after a short time, can be shot to detonate and causes a short range explosion. And Q is a chrono switch, which is like uh, rings that come out from your gun and they slow any enemy that's caught in the rings. Now the damage potential from this guy is pretty insane. Whoa! Oh, she's so low! Nice! We're three down. It's one to four. It's not looking good. Got my Q though. Let's see if I can show that off and show you how it slows people. Bam! So everybody in here is slowed and a sitting duck, basically. Nice. We've really fallen behind here pretty hard. Now we're missing one class, of course. How have I skipped this class? When we die next time, I'll show you the uh, the last class that we're missing. Oh, let's finish him. Oh man, we got hounded. Okay, now somehow we managed to go straight over the gunslinger. I guess I was just so hungry to get to that juggernaut. Okay, here we go. So this is the gunslinger. He gets two guns, but they're both the same gun on the mouse wheel. Left click. Pretty simple repeater pistol. Right click. Railgun. So his kit is this. You get equalizer, Q. Automatically fire bullets for a set duration. Immediately replenishes charges or fuel. Okay, something like that. Tac knife. So a knife that can hit enemies. Highlight enemies that are, that are hit. And activate close to an enemy to perform a melee strike. And warp, which is uh, his transport move, which is you just zip forwards. So if you double jump as well, you can also warp upwards. I didn't know that. We're actually getting some caps now. Nice, okay. And that's his cue. You just massively shoot loads of bullets in front of you. But we've lost. Luckily, I did get that gunslinger cue in at the end there, though. Oh, man, we did get wrecked. So as you can see, this video was recorded in beta. I'm not sure if the game is still in beta, but it's very quickly about to come out of beta. Open beta, that is. So you can check it out. I'm not sure if it's available on Steam or not. I'm not sure what the price is, but definitely check it out. I can compare it to Overwatch. I know that the, the game creator hates such comparisons, but it borrows a lot of elements from it for sure. Especially loot boxes. That's a thing. Although it's more like an industry standard these days. It's much more fast paced though. It's much harder to hit your targets in this. Guns have to be more accurate. And uh, the game modes are much more reminiscent of old style Quake and Unreal shooters rather than the new modern day of uh, Overwatch kind of bulky team based shooters. So let's open up a stash drop and see what's inside. So here we go. When you open a stash drop, oh man, look at that mustache. There's got to be something good inside this. You get five crates that drop down and lights flash through them. White is common, green is rare or uncommon. You get blue as well, and you also get epic and legendary drops. I've only got one legendary drop so far, but here we go. We've got the ice camo weapon skin for Juggernaut. It's pretty hard to see, so it doesn't have a huge difference. We're going to put it on Nash and also on Aegis. Got an account portrait. It's Pooh. Why not? Equip that sucker. Another account portrait and a weapon sticker. So weapon stickers attached to the sides of guns. They're, again, very difficult to see. So let me show you exactly what kind of customization options are possible. And we'll choose Helix to do that with. So as you can see, I've got an epic skin for Helix, which is the thermal shell, but its default is just this one. 
There's also some other pretty sweet skins. We use a guy with a bigger gun. Let's try Nash. And these are some of his skins. Mad Dash. Wow, he looks like an insect. That's pretty sweet, actually. I want that one. Now, primary weapon skin is uh, this kind of camo. And you can put a sticker on your weapon as well. Kind of like Counter Strike, but not quite as customizable. And if we go right down to the rarest, there's some holographic ones. You also get a pretty sweet beta one for participating in the beta. And you can see the weapon sticker is actually really hard to see. It's there in the middle. So I don't think you're ever going to see that. But, you know, it's nice to have. It's like a little bit of a claim to bragging rights. Sure, whatever. Something like that. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed watching me play Lawbreakers, check it out for yourself. I mean, I'm still an Overwatch man through and through. But every now and again, it's nice to kind of come outside of your element and play something a little bit different to sharpen those aiming skills on different games. It's gravity defying, and if the idea of flying around rather than stuck on the ground appeals to you, then definitely check this out because this game is super mobile and uh, I can't wait to see what happens after launch and how the game grows. Until next time, guys, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for some more other games?